Welcome back to a new video post from Mightiest Academy. This time we will focus on the last step that you need to take before your thesis journey is over. As you can see here in the title from this post, well, as you already know, you can find the related link to the complete article in the description of this video. So it is preparing for a PhD defense. I know this is a moment, well, <laughs> the last moment of your thesis writing journey. And even though, yeah, a very crucial moment, it is tempting to yeah, step away from your thesis when you hand in the manuscript, because it is at least the moment where you feel free for the very first time since months or even years. And even though it is an important moment and you should not miss to prepare it in the right way and make sure that you reach an outstanding result for the defense. So how do you do this? This is what you will get from this article. Let me guide you a little bit through it. And after this, you can also, or you, <laughs> I recommend that you read the related article, yeah, just click on the link in the description and you will already be there. What can you find here in this uh, article about the thesis defense? So first it starts with a little general introduction to the topic. And as you can see in the first, let's say more extensive section, we already get to the core of the story and I provide tips and yeah, also advice of what is important and what you absolutely should consider, it, uh, consider at the moment of preparing your presentation. So first of all, as I mentioned, when you hand in your manuscript and when you submit your thesis, then it's completely fine if you take some time out, if you step away, if you also enjoy <laughs> to feel free from your thesis. But it is necessary that you return in the right moment. So this makes sure that uh, you don't rush when it comes to the preparation, that you have enough time to keep all the details in mind that you can plan and also practice the defense. This is a very important point and this is something that you not should forget. Then uh, another point is that you also need to have uh, a very, yeah, a good understanding of the format of a thesis defense. So what is a thesis defense? What is waiting there for you? Which tasks do you need to craft? What is expected so from you from the first part when you need to present your project and also from the uh, second part, which is the evaluation and questions and answers from the audience. So this is also something that you should check out, that you should know and yeah, you also, I guess you know this, it is crucial that you go through the guidelines and you, that you know perfectly how is the format from your mm -hmm. faculty and department, what is expected uh, in, yeah, in the uh, academic level that you are. So uh, thesis defense for master thesis will be slightly different from a PhD, which is a way more complex and extensive. And well, what, which are the requirements from your university? This is something that you, yeah, in any case should have in mind. And another very important point, well, a key point at least, is also how to stay organized during your presentation. It is crucial that you create a clear and yeah, a concise one that the audience can follow from one point 
and one idea and argument to the next. It should be uh, logical, structured, and it should also be transparent. So you need to arrive from the research question to the contribution and yeah, showcase all the uh, materials. But here you also need to be careful and to select the outstanding sources. So don't be tempted to <laughs> go too much into detail and to present a million examples because you simply will not have the time for this. And finally, what is also important and what I would like to give you on the way is the way uh, that you in, in that you attend the presentation. So you need to come up um, with a strong presentation and you also need to transmit self-confidence. After all, when you finish the PhD, you are an expert in this area of research and after all, an expert uh, on your um, thesis subject. So you can be proud of this and you should also enjoy to present your results and to earn the fruits of this time. Yeah, of all this time when you were sitting over your thesis and working and researching. So what else? Um, there's also a section that I think is very important, which are the challenges of defending your PhD. So here in this section, we will have an in-depth look at the process of a thesis defense, and you will learn, you will get to know the main challenges and difficulties and tasks which are waiting for you. And you will also get some yeah, inspiration and some key tips and um, advice on how to, uh, how to face and how to overcome these difficulties and challenges. After all, when it comes to the part of the questions. So uh, as you can see, one of the most important points is also the mental preparation. So make sure that you don't rush, that you plan, and you, that you have enough time, that you also get rid uh, of an unexpected situation. For example, uh, that you don't know which, uh, yeah, which uh, format of presentation is expected from you, that you are familiar with uh, the room, for example, that you know if there will be a microphone or whatever, like uh, also some technical things and stuff. And yeah, then as you can see, uh, the principal section here is about preparing successful and preparing an outstanding presentation. So in this part, you will get a device and yeah, also some insights and some tips that I can give you from my own exper uh, experience. Well, first uh, as a PhD student and also uh, as yeah, uh, from the part of the audience and uh, the supervisor. So what is expected? How do you prepare in the best way? And yeah, how uh, can you prepare not only your presentation, but also uh, the related questions and which, yeah, what, how do you craft all these different tasks? So as you can see, the second part of the stories, so when you crafted your presentation, then there's also the questioning part. This is what I was already addressing. So here, if you read this section through, then you will get a clearer idea of what kind of questions the audience can make, what is interesting to the advisor and also to the academic audience, maybe, well, to the committee, which part and which uh, type of questions can be addressed. And last but not least, there is also the mental part, which is yeah, 
crucial, which is significant. So if you prepare for your PhD uh, defense, then make sure that you are also mentally prepared. So for example, uh, it is crucial that you get enough rest and sleep, that you feel fresh in the morning of the thesis defense, that you also eat. <laughs> I know it's, uh, yeah, this is something that seems very easy, but you will get nervous in this day. Yes or yes. Everybody gets nervous <laughs> the day of the Jesus defense, but please make sure that you, yeah, that you also get the energy that you need uh, to be focused and concentrated, that you get the rest, the food <laughs> that you need, that you also take uh, breaks also, well, when you practice the defense and so on. And after all, the most important is that you feel confident. So don't forget that at the end of your thesis journey, you are the one who crafted this thesis. You are an expert and you definitely should enjoy this moment and not only suffer from it. So this was our video from today on how to prepare yeah, an outstanding <laughs> PhD thesis defense. If you like the video, then I'm happy if you subscribe and give us a like and feel free to subscribe also to our newsletter. Well, go to our blog, click on the link to the related article where you can find all the information that I tried to describe and yeah, to transmit a little bit brief. Uh, where you can find all of this information yeah, in a more extended way and form. And I also like to encourage you to discover our campus. Well, the campus from my TIS Academy that will guide you step by step from the first idea until your thesis defense and accompany you with expert support in every stage of your thesis writing journey. You also will find a link to the campus in the description of the video. Well, I hope you enjoy your day and I like to see you back in the next video.